Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the abstract factory design pattern. So let's get started. So in the earlier video we saw about the factory design pattern. Your abstract factory design pattern is the factory of the factory design pattern. So we'll be having the abstract factory and within that there will be factories which will create the different classes for us. Okay? Or it will create different objects for us. So let's go through an example and let's understand more about the factory design pattern. So here I'm taking the example that I want to create the application and this application can also be a windows application and it can also be the mac application and the application might contain the ui logic that it will contain some buttons some list some text some drop down list these are the different ui components that this application will be having but when i want to create the windows application i want to use windows button and i want to use windows list i want to use windows text similarly windows drop down because that should be the proprietary for the windows one but when i'm creating the application for my mac i want to use the mac button i want to use the mac list mac text and mac drop down list which is proprietary to the mac application as we already know that both these operating systems are different and based on that operating system there will be different ui components so similarly when i'm creating the application i want to do the same thing like whenever i'm going with the windows all those components should be loaded and should be added as per the windows application as per the windows operating system and whenever i am going with the mac all the components should be with the mac operating system okay so here i can say this is one of the factories that it will create the windows application for me and there is one more factory that is the mac ui application factory which will create the mac ui application for me and this application is the another factory that is the abstract factory on top of the mac factory and the windows factory which will create the applications okay so whenever i want to create the application i can just tell that okay i want to create the application which application i want to create the mac application okay so i'll just pass that i want to create mac application it will again in terms go to this mac application it will create the classes for it and it will also create the similar classes for this ui components as well okay so this mac will not go to create the components based on the windows it will only create based on the mac similarly when i'm going ahead and telling this application that i want to create the windows application it will in terms again create the windows application and it will load this components only it won't load this components okay so you can see that i have the abstract factory that is the application and within that application i can define okay i want mac or windows and accordingly all those components will be loaded by default we do not have to tell anything okay when i am going with the windows load this load this and similarly okay everything will be loaded by default as per the factories that we have designed so let's see this by example how we can implement this so let me go to my intellij idea okay and here you can see that i have created some of the classes which will depict the same thing that we have explained here so here you can see that i have few of the classes okay here you can see that i have ui factory okay and this ui factory is the interface and this ui factory may contain two methods that is the create button and create checkbox button okay two methods to add the button and checkbox and this button and checkbox are again the interfaces okay this is a standard button and a button is painted and we have a checkbox and that checkbox is also interface and which is going to be painted in the application okay two simple things now my this ui factory is implemented by the windows ui factory okay you can see that this windows ui factory is a class that is implementing ui factory and we have implemented two methods that is the create button and the create checkbox button and you can see this will return the windows button we have created you can see if you go to the os and within the mac i have mac button and mac checkbox and within the windows i have windows button and the windows checkbox you can see this two proprietary buttons are there right you can see windows button is again implementing the button that is going to say this is a windows button and windows checkbox is going to say this is a windows checkbox similarly mac checkbox and the mac button okay so this you can see the components are different and this component will be loaded based on the ui factory so within the windows ui factory you can see we are passing return new windows button and return new windows checkbox and within the mac ui factory we are passing within the same implemented method that is the create button and the create checkbox and within that we are passing return mac button and return checkbox button okay so ideally whenever i have the object of mac ui factory that will give me 
Mac button and Mac checkbox by default, right? Because we have the implementation that way. Similarly, when I have the object of WinUI factory, I will get the button of Windows and Windows checkbox only because we have implemented that way. So that factory layer is then that based on the individual factory, either it's Windows and Mac, I will get the supported UI components. Now, if I go to the main application, that is the main factory itself. Okay. So this application and within this application, we have defined that this application will contain button and checkbox because all our applications should contain button and checkbox. Okay. And we have created a constructor here. Okay. And this constructor is taking the UI factory. Okay. That's the another factory. Okay. That's the UI factory. Now within this factory, you can see that we are calling factory dot create button and factory dot create checkbox. Okay. And we are calling those methods simple thing. Okay. So you can see that this application, that's the factory of factory that is just taking one input. Give me the factory and what I want to do. Okay. So here you can see we are just taking the factory and from that factory, whatever the methods are available, those methods we are calling and setting those values simple thing okay now how we will call this actually okay so if you go to the main method okay and here you can see that we want the application to be created okay in the main method we have defined that we want application to be created and it's going to be the new application and within this new application we have the constructor where we have passed the ui factory and we want to pass the implementation of the ui factory so we pass that win ui factory Okay, so now all the components of the Windows UI will be created and that will be displayed here. Okay, so you can see we created an application that's the factory of factory. Within that we pass that we want UI factory. Okay, which UI factory? Windows UI factory. So now whatever the application dot paint we will do, everything will be based on the Windows. So if I run this, you can see that we got the windows button and we got the windows checkbox. Okay. We have not added any conditional checks or anything anywhere. Okay. Based on the object that we are passing, everything is loaded up. Similarly, if I just pass Mac UI factory. Okay. Everything will be related to Mac now. Okay. You can see here. Now we have the Mac button and Mac checkbox. How easy it is, right? So this way, whenever you have an abstraction layer based on the factory design pattern, we will be using the abstract factory. So you can see that this is very easy to implement and it is very easy to explain in your interview as well. So whenever interviewer asks like which are the design patterns, you know, you can go ahead with all the simple design patterns first so that you will have the basics clear. And then if interviewer asks, you can go with the difficult patterns as well. So this was all about the abstract factory design pattern. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. You can also click on join button to join this channel as well and support me. I will see you in the next video. Till then, happy coding. Bye bye.